people think it's just like chronically nighttime every time I film in my room because it's so dark in here all the time. Oh, I didn't turn on my string lights, that's why. Okay, did that help a little bit with the lighting? I hope so. Um, excuse this towel. Also, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my hair down now and let it finish drying because I did wash it today. So how have you guys been? It's almost October. How have we been? How has September been treating you? I am going through it, if I'm being quite honest. Yeah, I'm still going through it. I don't even know anymore, you guys. Actually, I do kind of know, and we're gonna talk about it in this video. I know I briefly talked about it in my fall reset video, and I had said that I think I was going through a slump or an oncoming slump, and I didn't really know what was causing it. We figured it out. I'm gonna get into it, but really quick, I'm also just gonna be getting ready for work while I'm talking because I have to work at 10 and it is currently 8.39. I have less than an hour to get ready, so we're gonna see if I can do this because honestly, I need to be more short and concise anyways with what I'm saying. So, so this is really just gonna be a test to see how fast I can get ready and actually make a coherent point in a video. But first I'm using my Laneige Pumpkin Spice Lip Mask because, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I also just realized it matches my nails, excuse me. Okay, actually, can we have a moment for these? Because I have started to do my nails at home. I'm trying to teach myself how to do gel extensions. This is actually a regular polish that I tried to overlay on top of the acrylic tip and I think it's okay. I'm a little concerned about this pinky because the color doesn't look like it's stuck all the way here, but it's fine. We can't do anything about it now. So we're just gonna move on. So you guys heard me talk about in my fall reset video that I felt like I was going through a slump of some sort or I was just in an oncoming slump and I wasn't really sure what was causing it. And then in the last like week or so, it's become more apparent that <clears throat> it's my birth control. I've been having some conversations about birth control with my roommate and my sister. I tried moving you guys a little closer because I don't want this to be like, I'm not like looking at y'all when I'm trying to do this, but I'm also trying to look in my mirror while I do this. So bear with me, please. So my roommate and I are both like spiritual girlies. We, <laughs> we both believe in astrology. We both believe in energy and you know what I mean? We believe in all the things. I've been having some conversations with her and also with my sister yesterday about birth control and like what birth control really does to you. And I, I know I'm really just getting right into it now because I have basically made the decision as of this morning that I want to stop taking birth control. Also, side note, please excuse what is going on on my chin. I don't even know where that came from. It came out of nowhere this weekend and I was using pimple patches on it to try and like make it go away and somehow it made it worse. And now it's just like a scar on my face. So I may need to put some Neosporin on it if I'm being quite honest. I don't think I'm going to use any kind of foundation today. I think I'm going to just do some concealer under my eyes. I am just going to work and honestly, I don't usually even get ready for work, okay? This is more than I usually do for work. I go to work barefaced, but I really wanted to sit down and make this video. Ideally, this is a topic I would journal about first and like get out of my system that way, but I really just wanted to talk about it because up until recently, we really did not know what birth control really did to us. And I feel like I'm figuring out firsthand what exactly birth control can do to you because I feel like mine has changed. No, not even changed. Mine has my body chemistry. In my fall reset video, I was talking about how I've been struggling to stay motivated. I haven't had a lot of energy to do things. And it was really confusing because it kind of felt like it came out of nowhere. Like I was in a really good place and I was going to the gym and doing X, Y, Z thing and like being so productive. And then just like out of nowhere, like I hit like a dead point and I had no energy and I wasn't sure what was going on. So I thought maybe it's just I'm burning out, which is still a viable option because I do do a lot. <laughs> um, I work two jobs and I'm doing YouTube. I'm not discounting that still, but recently I just realized some things. This was the year of realizing things. I was having conversations with my roommate this, like all this week. We were talking, cause we're both kind of in this point where we both feel like we want to go off of birth control. She uses a different method than me. I use the pill. I have been on the pill since middle or high school, I believe. When did I get my first period? My first period I think came when I was about in the seventh grade, which was around 2007, 2007. It was like fall of 2007 when I entered the seventh grade. I didn't even journal about any of this. Like this is usually something that I would journal about before I talk about it in a YouTube video but honestly, I know I can't be the only one dealing with this because I'm definitely not the only person that is on birth control. And I honestly just wanted to put this out here because if you've also been experiencing any of the similar things that I'm about to talk about and you're realizing that maybe it is also because of your birth control, like, cool, hopefully I help somebody realize this because honestly, it's kind of the whole birth control thing is a little, like it's just this pill that we all get told to take as soon as we start to menstruate. It's kind of just like second nature. Like it's just, as soon as we start our period, everyone's like, okay, well now you gotta go on birth control. And to be and to be fair, the reason I did start taking birth control is actually because when I got my first period in seventh grade, it didn't stop. I bled for like two weeks. 
I think what I actually want to do is just do a really quick like one eyeshadow look and maybe do something to match my nails because I love a monochromatic mustard shade. This mustard caramelly burnt color for fall, like this is my favorite shade for fall. Anyways, back to my period and my <laughs> menstruation history, I guess. My first period was like two weeks long and that's why I ended up getting on birth control because I was at my father's house in Kentucky visiting him for like Christmas. And I remember my aunt being there and telling me that I looked really pale. <laughs> I'm also gonna go into the vampirism palette and I really wanna take the shade Soulless because that looks really, that looks really close. I texted my mother and was like, hey, my period hasn't stopped. So I don't know what to do about that. And so basically when I got back home to Oklahoma, she put me on birth control. She took me to the doctor and that was that. Not that that was even a bad thing. Like honestly, that was probably very necessary at the time because my period was not regulating itself. It was my first one and I was just like free bleeding. Not like, okay, not free bleeding like I was bleeding on anything, but like I was just bleeding and I wasn't stopping. So I went on birth control and that was basically it. From that point on, I was always on birth control. I do think I got off of it at some point in late high school, early college, probably just because I wasn't dating around. I wasn't like planning on being sexually active and I felt like my period had kind of regulated itself. So I got off of it. And then at some point in college, late college, when I was active, I got back on birth control. I went to the gyno and I got jump scared with a pap smear because I had no idea that they were gonna do that. So if you are thinking of getting birth control, I'm um, just letting you know if you are the age of 21 or older and you haven't had a pap smear yet, you will have to get a pap smear to get your birth control. Um, just letting you guys know that now because I didn't know when I went in and I got jump scared. I'm gonna take the shade Dusk right under here and I think I'm just gonna put that in my crease just to kind of give it some depth. So since college, basically, I have been on birth control. I've been on birth control for the last like five or six years, I guess. I have never really had any issues with my birth control. I've never noticed, like I've never had anything happen that I was like, yeah, this is because of my birth control. Like I just, I've never had it affect me in quite the same way as I feel like it affected me this year. In the last couple of years, I have changed my relationship with birth control a little bit in the sense that I wanted to skip my periods altogether. And, and this is another thing. This is kind of another reason I want to take a break from birth control is because I have chronically hated my menstrual cycle. I don't, and I don't even really get symptoms anymore. And that could be a symptom of my birth control that I just don't get symptoms. Like I don't really get a lot of cramps. I don't get a lot of pains and aches that I notice. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary that I would attribute to being part of my menstrual cycle. I always just hated being on my period. It, I was like, it just feels gross. TMI, but I just, I don't like tampons. I don't like cups. I don't like shoving anything inside of me because that just feels wrong for me. I, I just don't, okay, you guys. Like, I, like this is TMI, I know, but like, I don't really care because it's my YouTube channel. I did give tampons a try, but I did not like the feeling. I did not like that experience. And I just don't like the idea of shoving something inside me for like multiple hours at a time. So I just don't use tampons or cups. Like, I just didn't like the feeling of being on my period. I don't like the symptoms. I don't like the feeling because you know what I, you know what I mean. If you're someone who gets periods, you know what I mean. You can literally like, Feel it. Basically, since I realized I could do this, I started using my birth control to skip my periods. So I was skipping my periods three months at a time. Basically, I would get a period every three months. I was doing that for the last year or so, I believe. When did I start doing this? It was quite, it was pretty recent. I like only realized it pretty recently that like you can use birth control to skip your period. And I just decided that that's something I wanted to try doing because I was so over having a menstrual cycle. It, it also was probably a little bit of dysphoria. I didn't want to have a period because I wasn't sure about my gender at the time. And I wanted to disconnect from that part of me that got a period because that's that's something that AFAB people get. <laughs> and I didn't want to identify with that anymore. I just was like, screw it. I'm gonna start skipping my periods. And it was all well and good up until this summer. I, and since talking to my sister and my roommate about this, I have pinpointed this. I've pinpointed this down to right when I went on vacation with my partner over the summer. Going back to what I was saying in my fall reset video when I was talking about how I was feeling and I was feeling very like unmotivated, I attributed it to motivation motivation and not having any when in reality I think it was actually just I didn't have any energy I was in a very low energy point because I'd been having trouble with my birth control prior to going on vacation in July I was on a different birth control it was called Apri and I was using that to skip my periods and I was having problems skipping my period I had issues where I was breakthrough bleeding at random times during the month when I was like not supposed to be because I'm using this to skip my period so like what the prior to July when I was on Apri, I noticed I was having a lot of breakthrough bleeding. I did not wipe my beauty blender off. So I think we're going to try 
a brush method. This will be interesting. Wow. I'm just gonna use this ColourPop one because I don't really want something full coverage. I just want a little something under my eyes. I noticed I was having a lot of breakthrough bleeding on Apri, so I contacted Planned Parenthood because I get my birth control through the Planned Parenthood app. If you don't know this, you can get birth control methods through the Planned Parenthood app. It's really great. You just do an online consultation. You pay, I wanna say $25 for the consultation appointment. Um, it may vary depending on what kind of birth control you end up going with because you can order like the ring, you can set up an appointment for an IUD. And like you can do so much in the Planned Parenthood app. I honestly love it so much. We support Planned Parenthood on this channel. I'm gonna just say that right now. Got in the app and I did another consultation with them. And in the notes, I mentioned like, hey, I've been trying to use Apri to skip my periods, but it, I've been having a lot of breakthrough bleeding. I don't know what to do about that. Like, can I please have a different one? So they gave me, what did they give me? I had to go pull it out of the trash because I threw it away this morning, but they gave me, I don't think this is the name. It just says Glenmark on it but it looks like this. If you are taking this, please tell me down below. I'll, I'll put the name, I'm gonna put the name of this down here on the screen. I'm gonna find the actual name of this and put it on the screen. If you've been taking this and you see this video, please comment down below and let me know if you have any of the same symptoms that I've been having because I think, I waited too long to blend out my concealer. No, I didn't, okay. Because I truly think that that birth control right there actually changed my body chemistry entirely. I hate that birth control. So they prescribed me whatever that is. And I started taking that literally the weekend I went on vacation with my partner. Like literally even in that vlog of my vacation, one of the things I had to do before we left for vacation was literally go pick up my birth control. And I did that in the vlog. So you literally see me going and getting that birth control in the vlog. And I started taking it that weekend while we were at the beach. I've basically been having the same problem and then some. I have not been able to skip my period on whatever that birth control is as well. I, I noticed breakthrough bleeding with it still, but I think it was really the conversation I had with my sister yesterday when she mentioned and when she kind of reminded me that like birth control can affect you not just physically, but also mentally, because it is a hormone pill. It is literally a pill of hormones that you take to alter your body's chemistry and change your menstrual, menstrual cycle. And if you didn't know, your body, when on your period, actually has four different phases that it goes through in its 28 day cycle. And by taking birth control, you're just altering the way that your body goes through those cycles, especially when you're taking it like me and you're using it to skip your period. It's it's gonna alter the way your body goes through its natural cycle. That's basically what I think has been happening to me. I altered the way my body was able to go through its menstrual cycle too much. And now my body is actually begging me to stop. And that's basically the realization I had because when my sister said that, I don't know what it was, She, but she mentioned how it can like change your chemistry. It can make, it can literally make some people depressed, like really affect your brain chemistry and something. And I don't know why I thought of this when she said that, because it's not that I've been feeling more depressed or having like more severe mood swings or anything. I knew I was feeling very low energy. Like I I knew I didn't have a lot of energy to do things. Like honestly, I still really struggled with going to the gym. I really thought that that like reset was all I needed and I was gonna be fine and just go back to the gym. And I wasn't. I still wake up and feel very low energy and I have a hard time getting through my strength training workouts. So that's kind of what prompted me to start thinking about everything in my life that I'm doing, including taking birth control. Something about what my sister said yesterday kind of made it click for me in my head, but I realized my birth control is what's causing me to have no energy. It's what's causing me to have no motivation. And the reason for that is because, again, I was not able to successfully skip periods with this birth control. And because of that, I have been having breakthrough bleeding like all month. I have consistently been spotting or bleeding so much that you could almost call it a light period for essentially the entire month. That was the other issue I was having. I was still having breakthrough bleeding and it wasn't stopping. Like it was just like I was on a consistent small period. And the thing is when they prescribed me that birth control, they told me it was a high higher hormone pill. Like they said, we're prescribing you something with higher hormones so that your body doesn't break through it. Y'all, I must have a super uterus because my body said, yeah, no, try me. I stopped taking it yesterday. As of yesterday, I'm no longer taking it. I threw that pack away. I just had to dig it out of my trash to show you. So through my birth control, I've been constantly breakthrough bleeding. And because of that, my body has constantly been in a menstrual cycle. And if you get periods, if you're someone who gets periods, you know what happens during your menstrual cycle. You have very low energy. Your mood is very low. You don't want to do much. Your period is meant to be a period of, literally, Literally a period 
of rest for your body. Like, yes, our metabolism does operate a little higher when we're on our periods because it is our body actively trying to push out things. Essentially what I'm trying to say is by me not having a period every month, by me skipping my period for three months at a time, I was essentially denying my body a period of rest every month. And honestly, I've been watching a lot of Alicia Gogan's like period content. Like she does a lot of content on her channel about just like your menstrual cycle and like really being in your feminine energy. She was talking about how your period is meant to be a time of rest and how the nine to five workday is really something that was developed around a man's biological cycle. So like cisgender men have a hormone cycle that basically resets every day from is what she talks about in her video, how their hormones reset every night when they go to sleep and they wake up the next morning and they're good as new. All of us girlies and anyone born with a uterus, we, we have the infradian rhythm. We have a 28 day clock that resets every month. And basically I realized, okay, so by not having a period, I threw off that clock really bad. And I know some people can probably successfully skip their periods on birth control. So like, if you're not having a problem with this, I'm not trying to scare you or anything by saying like you're throwing off your body's clock. This is just something that I feel like I need to do to reset my body and reset my clock because I truly think that that birth control that I was taking put me in a consistent menstrual state where I did not have any energy. I didn't have energy to get things done because something else Alicia talks about in her video is how when you're on your period, it's good to do less. Like you don't wanna do really intense workouts in the gym. You don't wanna to put too much on your plate. You wanna take it easy that week. And, I, and you know what? I already literally admitted that like, I definitely was probably also burning out because I do work too much and I do too much. And this is kind of going to, this is gonna kind of go into like masculine and feminine energy too, I think, because I think by also not having a period and by using my birth control to restrict my cycle and keep me from having periods I've been putting myself in a very masculine state for months and I've just been living in a really intense masculine energy because I'm not allowing myself to rest because I'm continuously taking this birth control that's keeping me from that period of rest where I'm supposed to just relax and have a period and just let it happen let my body reset I'm not giving my body that so I'm not resting I'm constantly in this masculine energy state and I'm going and going and going and now I'm done <laughs> I'm tapping out. Like, again, I did say, like, I have never enjoyed my menstrual cycle. I've never enjoyed my period. I've always hated it. And it's, it's really so unnecessary. Like, no, I can't help that I was born with this body and that I have a period, but but like that doesn't mean I should punish my body and try to take away this cycle just because I don't like it. And also I think it is too, just this period of growth that I've been in with my Saturn return and turning 27 and just how much more grown I've become. I just want to learn to accept that part of my body because I feel like that is definitely what has affected me these last few months. And I know that it also like, not just affects you physically, but it also affects you mentally. And like, I know, it's one of the reasons that I'm not always happy with my body. Like you got, and also literally you guys, I'm not even playing. I think that birth control is causing my weight gain. I, I haven't been weighing myself consistently because it's not something I like to do because I get too attached to the number on the scale. In the beginning of my strength training journey, I was weighing myself maybe like twice a month and I use the Renfo smart scale. So it has an app and it has all of my data recorded in every day and time that I have weighed in. Last week, I believe is when I weighed and it was the first time I weighed in since right before I went on vacation. Like. I think I weighed right before vacation because I was trying to lose a little weight before vacation. Before last week, I hadn't weighed myself before since vacation since I went on vacation basically. And I have gained like 14 or 15 pounds since the end of July in like two months time. And I literally was actually really triggered on If I'm being quite honest, I was really triggered because my weight is something that does typically trigger me. I've kind of talked about my body image in a previous video. So like this was something that actually triggered me in that moment. And I had to calm down because I was like, oh my God, what happened? What am I doing wrong? I've been exercising every day. I'm trying to eat better. I'm trying to make sure that I'm active and healthy and taking care of myself. Like what is going on that literally caused this? Like that was a lot in my opinion. Like I, that didn't feel normal to me. And I, I just realized, I think it was my birth control this entire time. I thought it was something else, but it I think was my birth control because my birth control had kept me in that period of menstruation. I was constantly menstruating. And because of that, I was, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. Like my diet is not perfect, especially recently. I have noticed, like I've talked to my boyfriend about it, how like, I really want us to start eating a little healthier when we hang out and when we go out, because he and I are like the king and queen of ordering takeout. And so I was telling him how like, you know, maybe we need to be a little better about how we eat because I feel like I've been eating like crap. And I'm realizing because I was constantly menstruating, I was probably just constantly having period cravings and it was just messing with me. And that's probably 
probably why I have gained a little bit of weight just because of that. So that's basically been the realization that I have had in the last like couple weeks that I think my birth control really just messed up my whole cycle, my whole system. I cannot really tell how much blush I'm putting on, so hopefully it's not a lot, but it probably is, but it's fine. I'm really digging this like thing where people put their blush like all over here and just kind of make it look like you're, you're sick. I don't know. <laughs> I do also like putting it on my chin. I'm gonna put a little on my chin. So anyways, I think that is truly why I have been feeling this way and having these cravings and why I've been in this really low energy state for a really long time. And as of now, I am going to take a break from birth control. I'm going to try and track, I don't think that I want to use a period tracker app just because, hi, I live in the United States and I actually live in a red state right now. I live in Virginia and hi, if you live in Virginia, I just want to let you know that early voting is now open and voting season is coming up. And in case you didn't know, abortion rights are on the table in Virginia. So if you value your right to your own bodily autonomy and the right to choose what you want to do with your body, please get out and vote this year, okay? Please go vote, all right? I am someone who values everyone's right to bodily autonomy and the right to do what they want with their bodies. If you care about that too and you live in the state of Virginia, please get out and vote this year because our bodily rights are on the table. Because our governor, Glenn Youngkin, has decided that he should get a say in whether or not you should be able to have an abortion or not. I may have to mute that word out because I don't know if I can say it on YouTube, but the right to end something after your birth control fails. But this is our finished look. My blonde is kind of just like doing whatever it wants up in here. But um, this is our finished look. This is a really cute monochrome um, mustardy kind of look. If you want to channel that fall vibe, I really like how this came out. I'm actually going to apply more of this pumpkin spice lip balm because I really love it. And yes, I'm being an animal and I'm digging it out with my nail because... In my defense, I did take a shower before this and I washed my hands thoroughly, so like, I don't care. Anyways, so that's basically my life update slash revelation because I do feel like I've been really struggling mentally and physically and it, and I have been talking about it in a few videos and I was really confused because I didn't really know why. I was kind of just trying different things to see if maybe I just needed to do a reset, if I needed to clean my room, which I did need to clean my room. I just really didn't understand what was going on with my body and I feel like I've just hit that revelation where it's like, oh, this is, this is what it was. I'm just at a point in time where I I think I want to take a break and actually educate myself more on birth control and what it does and you know just make a more informed opinion myself and I just wanted to make a video talking about some of the side effects I have had on this birth control and my experience with it and what is leading me to decide that I don't think birth control is for me anymore honestly it can take three to six months just for you to see the side effects of a new birth control so I really want to give myself probably the rest of this year to really let my body flush it out of my system and really reset and re-regulate itself and it honestly feels like a really good time anyways because we are hitting fall and winter and these are the colder seasons where we are supposed to draw inwards and relax and take care of ourselves. So I think that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the year. I'm going to stay off of birth control and I'm going to monitor how I'm feeling. I'm going to monitor my weight and see if I end up finding it easier to lose weight again because I'm no longer on that birth control. If a follow-up video to this is something you guys would be interested in, please let me know because I am going to try and like journal and keep track of what I'm feeling and what happens in the next coming months now that I am off birth control entirely. Because I know it's like still in my system. Like I've been taking it routinely for like years. So it's gonna take some time for it to get out of my system. But so if you guys would like a follow up video to this, I can definitely make one. It'll definitely be way down the road, probably around the end of the year, but that is something I can keep in mind for the future. That being said, it is now 9.27 and I'm not even dressed for work yet. So I need to go. Thank you so much for sitting down and getting ready for work with me and just listening to me talk about this. And if you are somebody who has been struggling with any of these symptoms, Symptoms, if you've been struggling with birth control or even if you are considering getting off of birth control but you haven't been sure comment down below and let me know and let's have a discussion about this because I really don't feel like enough people talk about this and if you're someone who does do natural cycle syncing and you have not taken birth control in years or you just have never done it entirely please share your experience down below because I would love to talk to some more people that do cycle syncing and just go with their body's natural cycle. I am going to be teaching myself cycle syncing now. So if you follow cycle syncing at all, please comment down below your experience and any tips you have because I would love to hear them. And with that being said, I'm going to go to work. I am probably going to be late, but I don't really care. I don't really care. We'll be fine. Honestly, I'm probably not going to be late. <laughs> I literally am never late for work. I'm just leaving later than I'd like to. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world. Thank you again for tuning into this video. If you are new here, you should definitely go check out some of my other videos on my channel. I think my get ready with me videos like this are going to be more of my sit down chit chatty videos about like just life advice or things like this where I just talk about a specific topic just because I do like to sit down and talk, but I need to be doing something. So I think that's what these get ready.
ready with me videos are gonna be. I do have a couple of other get ready with me's on my channel and you can go check those out because I also talk about some other deep stuff on them. I also just have a lot of vlogs because I love to film myself going through my chaotic little life. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it so that I know to keep making content like this. Thank you again for sitting down and spending your time with me today and I will catch you on my next video. Wait.